All right, fellas, I'm down at the Club Shack today and I wanted to show you something neat. This is a Magloop antenna that we've been working on and we found this old variable capacitor and we think it's out of an old Yezu rig somewhere, but this thing is smooth. It's gear reduction. So when you turn this, let's take a look inside. When you turn the knob on the variable capacitor, the capacitor itself moves very slowly compared to how much you turn. So it's got a little bit of a gear reduction on there. And then this is an old MTM case guard, $7 um, ammo box that I got at a local gun show. And if you know loop antennas, then you know that these things are extremely sensitive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in the 705 and show you the SWR plot on this thing. Hang on, let me get set up for that. Okay, so we're gonna kind of do this freehanded here. Uh, this thing's set for 40 meters. We're gonna do an SWR plot. We're gonna set it for 13 bars and a step, a small step size, 10K. And we're gonna hit go. And you can see that it's off the charts. Now here's the problem with the SWR meter on the 705. I don't know where off the charts it is. This thing is so narrow banded that it could be off the chart over here, or it could be off the chart over on this side, and I can't tell. So I'm gonna move the, the needle a bit, and I'm gonna try again. And no real change. So let's try some old fashioned tuning methods. Let's exit out of here and let's get into the scope. What do we have for noise? I'm using the wrong dial here. What do we have for noise? We got no noise. Yeah, so I'm completely out of band. All right, so I switched hands so I can tune the capacitor. And you can hear the noise come in. And you can kind of watch the signal strength gauge right there. And now let's try the SWR function again. So now we're a little high. And I turned it just a tad. And just that tad, I moved it from here all the way down to there. Turn it up a bit. <laughs> just a little tiny bit. Makes all the difference in the world. But that's what I'm gonna get on this thing is two to one even with that big capacitor on there, it's the best I'm gonna get. Let me switch radios and we'll try it on the Zygu X6100 and see what we can do there. Okay, so now we're on the 6100 on the same antenna and I had to do kind of an interesting thing because I didn't bring my BNC adapters down here. I'm using the Windcamp's BNC adapter to get this thing plugged in. And I'm not getting any useful signals yet. Let's switch over to fast mode. We're out of band. Let's make this really easy on ourselves by going down to the FT8 section of the band. 7074. And I should be able to dial it in. And you, you just saw it go right on by. Look at that. You can see it go right on by on the waterfall. All right, so right there. And now let's try an app and SWR scan, and she's scanning. So this is 10 to one SWR and one to one SWR, and it starts at 6.766 and it runs to 7.382. So it's gonna take it a, a bit to get in there. I can change the speed on this. There's a yellow line going across the top, and now we're gonna see it drop a bit, and then right on down. So it's around 7150, so I need to move it that way. I'm gonna change the speed which is gonna change the number of points on the chart to be less. Less samples means more, more time. All right, so now we're moving at a decent speed. 
I can move this thing as it's coming along. And there I moved it just a hair. Let's move it a hair more. And you can see it moving to the left on the screen. And I need to get it right about there is 7074 is the center. All right, I moved it up onto a chair. I don't know how well this is gonna show on camera or not, but you can see the, the caliper, the caliper, the capacitor over here, and you can see the SWR chart over there. And it's tracking towards the end of the span. Coming back. All right, so let's move it. All right, there we go. And so if we look at that, we're right above 7074, right below 7074. And I can keep on tweaking that for a while, but what I'm gonna do instead, because this one here has a built-in tuner, let's tune it. And that tuned up, let's go back in and do another SWR scan. And right down there, there we go. And you hear the relay click in and click out as it goes through the tune, the tuned portion. Let's do it one more time. Click, click, perfect. All right, so that's the differences between the SWR scanner that's built into the 6100 and the SWR scanner that's built into the 705. And now these two are married forever with this WinCamp connector. So. Either way, there is a video over there I think you will enjoy next, and thanks for being awesome.